So I have these here for you. Also, here's more snowboarding, another ice skating book. Ice skating. There's speed skating, which is different than ice skating. Yeah, race somebody. Many, many people have said, well, you know, 20 years from now, there's not going to be any libraries. We're just going to have the technology, everything's going to be virtual. Um, people, we don't need libraries anymore. Well, that's, that's not true. Relevant sports that you might be interested in for the Winter Olympics, but also sports in general that you just want to learn more about, right? That's what nonfiction is so great about, right? Kids love coming to the library. They love having that book in their hands. And now there's so many talented writers and illustrators for, for books. And the stories are so amazing for kids to read, for that connection to their own lives, that it's so important to have the library filled with great books for kids. And the kids that don't read, or they say that, they, can, they walk in here and say, there's no good books in here. And I said, you know what I think? I think you just haven't found what you really like yet. So let me help you find something that you'll like. And that's what gets you started. Because that's, that's the frustration, I think, of kids that you know, don't like to read. I don't think it's that they don't like to read. They just haven't found what they like yet. All right, this is what's going to happen today. We are worried about the Olympics today. And what we're going to do is you're going to create, using mini bagels, the flag, the symbol of the flag. I have a, a restaurant degree, and so I've always loved to cook, and I've always loved to manage restaurants. In fact, that was my, my prior career before I became a teacher. So Book Cooks is a perfect combination of teaching kids how to cook, and but also tie it in with a literature theme. And you're gonna put your cream cheese on first on all your half rings, right? And then on top of that, you're gonna create your colors with your food. Yeah. I'm excited for this. We have about between 20 and 25 kids per group, and they come in after school, and we talk about the recipe, the history behind the recipe, the theme, and there's so many learning objectives. Measuring, you know, science, the, the chemistry of cooking. So just make it look like it's like that and then your metal hangs like that. See what I mean? Right? So it's all about, you know, trial and error. And that's what cooking is all about, isn't it? So who's ready to eat them? Yay! All right. Yay! All right. Yay! The most rewarding part is to see the kids' faces when you find that just exact book for them. When they come in here and look for things, or when they think they're looking for something they want and they can't find it, and then you say, well, we have other options. What do you think about this? And they look at me, and they look at the cover of the book, and they go, yes, I'm gonna take this one. And that's, and that's fantastic, you know? And that, and that happens every single day, which is just great. It's just a great, rewarding feeling. Taking what you've learned in school and applying it to real life, that's what it's all about. You need to read every day. You need to be reading every day to be, to be successful.